Is number four online? Yep, number four online. All right. Okay, so hit stat. This is how to do this problem with stat crunch. So hit here, hit stat crunch, brings up the numbers. Uh, we just have a, leg, a regular linear regression. So once I'm in here, I can go uh, stat regression, simple linear. Okay. I want these to be the x variables, these to be the y variables, but it, it usually will even tell you this is x, this is y, hit compute. This is my linear regression, uh, y equals 29.19 plus 7.68, rounded to two decimals. This one's the variable, so this is the slope when it goes into here. Uh, it switches spots. This is the slope. This is the line. So uh, just disappeared. Uh, this might be off. Oh, here we go. We can do this. Bring it up. See if you guys can still see it. There. Want these two numbers here, rounded to two decimals. 7.68. This is the slope because it's got the hours spent. And then the other one is 29.19. Okay, now it wants us to go a little bit further. Well, it asks for the regression line. And you gotta be careful here. I uh, went a little too fast in class. But when you do this, you have a second page. If you click here, it goes to the second page and then here's your regression line. So you just gotta be really careful about, try to move this over here so you guys can see it. You just gotta be really careful about picking the right one. Obviously, we know these two are out. This one's kind of easy because it can't be this one. This can't be the linear regression because all these points are underneath this line. So that does only leave one, but um, you know, the one I did in class, it was, there were a couple of them that were really close. So you just gotta be, just gotta really take a good look at them. So it's this one. Okay, and then I'm gonna continue. Now it wants us to figure out um, when X is four. So there's a couple ways to do this. Like I, in class, I tried to just eyeball this, so I brought this up to four. Oh, look at that, that works pretty slick. Um, I don't know if that works on your uh, computer, this, but looks like it's just under 60. So the one that's just under 60 is 59.9. Okay, another way to do this is grab your calculator. Whoa, uh, I don't, oh, there we go, now it'll work. Okay, and I want to just take, hmm, get it to fit on here. Shoot, it's just too big. I don't know, I don't know if it'll work. Uh, anyways, type this equation in, but uh, use four for X, so take 7.68. Um, yeah, my calculator, Probably have to close it and get it to work. Anyways, take 7.68 times 4 plus 29.19. I'm just going to do it with my handheld. This isn't working for us to get it on the screen. So 7.68 times 4 plus 29.19, 59.91. So there's your answer. Okay, next one is a 3.5, so this seems to work here. Grab a boat there, 3.5, I'm just going up to the line. Looks like that's pretty close to the middle uh, between 50 and 60, so I'm gonna go with uh, 56. The next one, okay, 13. So if I go back to my graph, uh, we don't have an X value that goes up to 13. In fact, if I go back to my numbers, so my numbers, not sure why those, Got highlighted now, but anyways, my numbers are these. Uh, we don't have an X that goes to 13. So what we'll say to this is it's not meaningful because it's outside of our domain. And then 1.5, right about here. Probably pretty close to 40. Okay, so that's how to do number four on uh, the uh, stat crunch.
okay, hope it helps.